Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to ask the universe for what we really want, but not just how to ask for what we want. How to ask in such a way that you can have an assurance that what you really want to manifest is going to come seeking after you. There is a way that we can tune in to the energy field surrounding that dream. And we can know with assurance that that manifestation is coming and looking for us, just like we're looking for it. So, my name is Ben, welcome to Elevate. Let's kick on into it. Well, thank you so much for tuning into the channel today, folks. If it's your first time here, I hope you'll love it. I hope you're inspired and uplifted, and I hope that you'll consider joining the family. Hit the subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day of the week, so you're welcome to reach out to me and come back and check the rest of the content out on the channel. There's over 400 videos here now. Also, I've got a private coaching group where we study each week universal principles in a deep dive. You can check out the link listed in the description box below if you're interested in that. But folks, today I wanted to discuss with you some fundamentals behind communicating our desires with God, with the universe, with, with the energy field, working with energy to produce a result. You know, so many people learn about the law of attraction or they hear about these sort of foundational governing laws of our universe and they get so excited to apply them to manifest the things that they want. From little things like a free cup of coffee on the way to work to the big stuff, the important things. Relationships, careers, lifestyles. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to share with you today a surefire way that if you can, if you can get a hold of this, if you can employ this into your walk with the universe, you will begin to manifest quickly and freely and very powerfully and the difference the change comes in addressing the way we request things the change comes in altering our mindset surrounding what we are asking for how we are asking for it you see folks so many of us have a dream it could be something that's really really big it could be a dream so big you feel like you may never accomplish it, but there's something deep down in your heart. You know that it's there. It's been with you for a long time. Some of us have dreams where it seems we live in a life and each day we have these little dreams of a free cup of coffee, a, a great parking spot when we go to the shops, a good report from our child's teacher. And we live in a world where these dreams seem to be made manifest very simply and very easily. And yet so often, it's when we initially try to apply the law of attraction that we get messed up. Now why is that? Why would a universal principle exist like the law of attraction that says if you can dream it, if you can see it, you can receive it? Why would something like that mess so many people up? Folks, it all has to do with the way we ask. It all has to do with how we make our requests known to God. How we will make those things that we want, those requests, known to the universe. When you want something, it is natural in the human experience to feel a sense of lack while that thing is not with you. So if you want a baby to hold in your arms, if you want a free cup of coffee, <clears throat> you will feel the lack of that coffee in your system. Long before you hold that free cup of coffee in your hand, you will feel the blank space in your heart before you cradle that baby in your arms. The trouble comes here. So many people don't process through that feeling. So many people don't process through the lack and establish their life now. You see, folks, when you approach prayer, when you approach God and the universe with requests for things that you want, and you approach it in a spirit or an energy of lack, 
then you simply perpetuate the cycle of lack that you are currently in. So even if you go to God, and you go to the universe and you say, I want this thing so badly, I want to align with it. I know it's for me, how do I receive it? I just give these things over to you. I want this, I, I need this in my life, I need this baby, I need this money to accomplish this dream, I need this peace in this relationship, I need this promotion at work, I need something to go right in my business. When you need, your undertone is rooted in lack. So what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is understand that we have a need of no thing. The law of divine oneness says that nothing is separate from us, but that everything comes from us. So that thing that you want to manifest already lives on the inside of you. It is inside of you in seed form. And the seasons of life, both good and bad, Come to water that seed and then allow it to grow. So, when you have a dream, when you have something that you want to see manifest, the key to getting there is leaving all of the lack behind and shifting the way you approach your request. Shifting the mindset we use when we go to God and we say, Universe, in all of your strength and power, this is my dream, this is what I want. Help me to see that. So instead of praying in lack, instead of having desire born from lack, let's use gratitude. We know that the law of attraction works with energy, frequency and vibration. We know that every single thing that exists, all that appears in our world to be solid, from your hand to that wall, is actually comprised of tens of millions of tiny little vibrating interlocking particles of energy. And it is the frequency at which those particles vibrate that dictates the form that is made manifest. So we know that with the law of attraction, to bring to us that experience that we want, that person, that place, that baby, that money, that esteem, whatever it might be, we need to lift our energy field so that our vibrational set point matches the vibrational set point of that thing we want to manifest. Now folks, if you've been on this channel for some time, you will have heard me say over and over again, the law of attraction never just gives to you what you want, but it always brings to you who you are. And what I mean by that is this, the law of attraction doesn't work by you saying, I want a million dollars, and the universe says, no problems. Ka-ching, there you are. The law of attraction works by you making your request known in gratitude and in thanks. I'm so thankful and grateful because I know that I will be a millionaire. I can feel it. God, I'm so thankful that you're with me. Universe, you are in charge of all things, and my life is in your hands. I align with this million dollars. I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for the promise of it. And I'm thankful for fulfilling it. And I'm thankful for all of the wonderful things that we're going to do and all the service we can offer. When you lift your vibration and you come at this thing from a foundation of gratitude, you enter the manifesting process on a high vibrational frequency. See, normally when we enter the manifesting process, we're right down here and we struggle and we struggle to climb that mountain to get up into high vibration. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want to manifest quickly, it's all about how you ask. Ask with gratitude. Enter the manifesting process in high vibration. Don't struggle to climb the mountain of vibrational energy to try and see it made manifest. Enter the process in high vibration. When you make your requests known to the universe, when you approach God and make your requests known to Him, instead of declaring, I'm incomplete without this thing, I'm in lack without it, things don't make sense without it, I need it, approach it and be thankful for the wholeness that you already are, knowing that that thing is coming from you, that's how whole and complete you already are. So there is no lack in you. So when you approach the universe and make your requests known to God, 
You can be thankful. You can approach those requests and call them as if they exist now. And being thankful for them, asking with gratitude, allows you to enter the manifestation process in a high vibration, in the vibration that will deliver that thing to you. So folks, I hope that you'll give this a go. I hope that you'll need to re-watch this video if you have missed bits and pieces and you do that and you take the information in and you see that yes, in fact, gratitude is the key. Entering into the manifestation process already in high vibration is the key. So I hope this has given you some value, folks. I hope this has been some information that you've not heard before, that's resonated with you, and that's given you some excitement to go on with. Get amongst it, folks. Your best days are right around the corner. I love you so much. Thank you for your time on the channel today. Please join the family. Don't forget to subscribe and come back again real soon. Peace.